YouTube to even be showing books I picked up at Steel City Con, plus one other item I picked up. I usually like go into the show once or twice a year. I usually try to go in the spring and then in the um the winter. So it's like usually do the April and December. Once in a while I'll do the summer one, but usually I'm out of money <laughs> during the summer. And for vacations and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of nice seeing the, a lot of the vendors I always see there all all the time. It seems like there's a few newer ones, uh that which is always good. It's always a good sign when there's a uh, People I've never seen there before, so again, another excellent show. So we'll get started on the haul here. First thing I'm going to show is an autograph I picked up. Let's see if I can see. There we go. Got a little certificate there, but uh, it's the. There we go. No glare. It's a Butch Patrick's autograph. I didn't get a chance to meet him, but I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to last time but for some reason. I just didn't. I didn't go to that show that he was uh, when he was here last. So, I figured this was just good enough. And I only paid. Uh, I think I paid fifteen bucks for it. So, but yeah, a little uh, Eddie Munster. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think I got a better deal one. I think he was like charging like thirty bucks. So I got it for half off. The next time he comes to town, I'll just meet him. Yeah, I might buy something from him too. You know, I'm sign something else maybe, but. At least I got this autograph. I can put it with my collection. And I really don't collect autographs, uh, celebrity autographs, except for horror um, movie actors and stuff like that. But uh, I think uh, the reason why we went this time was my wife wanted to meet John Cusack, and uh, he ended up canceled because he had a movie or something. So yeah, she was a little bit disappointed. She's the one that collects a lot of that stuff. Those um, those actors. <laughs> Me, I just stand in line. <laughs> and take the picture. All right, on to the comics. I got um, ended up picking up another copy of this. I'm not sure how it's gonna show on there, but it's a uh, Dark Knight's Metal issue two. I had to get a replacement copy of for mine, and I paid cover price for this, so I didn't really pay it. It was a store. Uh, it's pretty close to it. And I went in there and I picked it up. I was so happy to get it because I my other one has a crease going all the way across here. And that's just the way they they ship them to the store I usually go to. So it was nice getting this really uh really nice looking copy. <laughs> Even though it's been out for a long uh, yeah, I guess about six or seven weeks now. So and I'm really loving this storyline, so <laughs> I really wanted to get a decent copy of it. Uh, next up, I actually bought this at the con. Superman issue 34. Uh, all the shops around here didn't have, were sold out when I went to get it. And I'm not saying they never had it, but they just, uh, when I went to go get it, it was gone. So, super happy to get this for like, a, I think I ended up paying like $1.50 for it because I got a bunch of other books with it. So, so not too bad for Superman with the 800. And, you know, Tony Daniel. <laughs> He draws, you know, he's one of my favorite Batman artists, but uh, I thought he did a pretty decent job on the Superman cover. And at that store, I was able to finish my Gotham Resistance run here. So I picked up uh, Nightwing issue 29, Suicide Squad issue 26, and Green Arrow issue 32. Um... I really lucked out getting that Teen Titans uh, 12 <laughs> a couple videos back. Uh, I got it, and like two days later, it just blew up. I mean, I paid I, I paid 20 cents over cover price for it, <laughs> for a near mint copy. And uh, like a couple days later, it was like out, and then all of a sudden, um, I was seeing like posts about it on different message boards and uh, on uh, YouTube too. And it just like blew up. Now it's like a, you know, 15, 15 to 15 to 20 dollar book I guess now maybe more who knows uh, next up got a couple of reprints going here uh, this is just gonna have to tide me over for a while <laughs> Batman issue 121 uh, the Toys R Us uh, reprint I guess special replica edition uh, first appearance of yeah well it's Mr. Zero but yeah, Mr. Freeze really 
But yeah, this will be a nice little place. I only paid three bucks for it, so I was like, I was super happy. I see a lot of other, you know, other places charge a lot more for it. And another replica. This is, uh, let's see here. Let's gotta back this up just a tad. There we go. Uh, Captain America issue 241. When I first pulled it out of the box, I was like, whoa, man, this is a pretty sharp copy. <laughs> then I looked down in the corner, I was like, oh, never mind. It's, uh, Yeah. It's a yeah, it's a newer book. When I say newer from the nineties, I mean, but because of, yeah, <laughs> from uh, Todd McFarlane there. But yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, well, I still, and I ended up buying it still because uh, my copy, uh, I have the um, I guess it's called the direct edition, but the uh, line in the across the UPC UPC code there. So I figured, yeah, I'll pick this up. It's nice, nice clean copy it's a, I believe it's called the JC Penny uh, variant I looked it up a little bit and that's uh, what I came across but yeah this is a and I've always loved this cover too because this reminded me of when I was you know first starting to collect uh, like the this was came out years before I even started even thinking about collecting but when I saw this you know it'd be like a wall book and stuff like that it'd be on people's uh, comic shops wall and stuff I always thought it was like new school versus the old school. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a nice Frank Miller cover. Now the rest that are not reprints <laughs> or replicas or whatever. I uh, ended up picking up World's Finest, issue 181. Uh, just love this cover. I've been wanting it for a long time, too. And it's just a... Uh, just a nice book, and some of these world's finest are pretty cool too to have. But yeah, I just I always like that, like Superman running away from anything. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. So I always wanted to read the story, what it was about, so I never read it before. I uh, ended up picking this up for two bucks. It's uh, Captain America Annual Issue Number Eight. The uh, Pull that back a little bit further. Uh, with the uh, Mike Zek, uh, I believe's cover. Yeah, it's just, uh, just one of his awesome covers. And another story I've always wanted to read. It came back out. It came out in eighty, what eighty six there. So, yeah, just another one that's something I wanted to read, but you know, cover's not too bad either. Ended up picking a bunch of these Superman books up. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've probably picked up a close to probably about 60 books, 60 uh, Superman Volume 1 books. And I think I maybe paid like 30 bucks for them total. <laughs> and most of the, uh, uh, let's see here. Let's look at that. We've got the fog going here. Let's see. There we go. Uh, most of the, uh, Books that I paid, like I said, thirty bucks, and then I think I paid more for these four books than, <laughs> than all the rest of them I bought. Uh, got a lot of fifty cent books. I'm not gonna show them on uh, the YouTube channel. Maybe I'll post them on uh, my Instagram, which will be a link down below. <laughs> but this is a uh, Superman issue 189. Yeah, I always like anything with crypto on it too. It's pretty cool. If I when I get a dog, it's gonna be uh, I think it's gonna be the name I use. Let's fix that. There we go. Much better. But yeah, it's just and these aren't in too bad condition either for you know, the amount I paid for them. But yeah, anything with Superman volume one, I'm trying to buy. And when I say I'm trying to buy, uh, I'm trying not to spend any more than five dollars per book. So I'm gonna see how far I can get down. It's giving it's giving me something to do while I, you know, buy my own. Pick at my super or my sorry my Batman and Daredevil books slowly but surely, but this is uh, <laughs> Superman issue two twenty one <laughs> smashing through the uh, the telephone booth there. <laughs> as soon as I saw this one, I knew I had to buy it. Uh, this is Superman issue two thirty. 
Uh, the only problem it has is it's got a sticker on it, so I'm going to probably have to take the hair dryer to it. Uh, see if I can get that sticker off there. But uh, I paid, I think, less than $2 for it, so the price wasn't too bad, too far off. But yeah, it just thinks that it's stickers on it, but it's got Lex Luthor in the, the Superman costume, so it's like a wonder if it was like a, like a what if story, you know? But yeah, I love, uh, love me some Superman. Especially uh, anything in the 80s, in the 80s and back. Uh, another issue I picked up, uh, issue 238. So, again, like I said, I paid less than two bucks an issue for these Superman books. and I'm just having a great time trying to find these books for uh, cheap. <laughs> gives me something to do when I'm digging through uh, you know, miles of long boxes uh, just to stumble across a Superman book. It's uh, from the uh, Volume 1 series. If it's under five bucks, I'll usually pick it up. And uh, anything on from three hundred to four twenty-two, like I, I've almost got a complete run of that just from uh, diving into dollar boxes. So. Also picked this one up. I see this in a lot of people's videos. Uh, Superman, Man of Steel, the Man of Steel issue twenty-five. The Return of a uh, Superman. So finally glad to have this one in my collection, and I paid fifty cents for it. <laughs> I ended up finding this one for I think I paid a dollar for it. So yeah, it's a uh, Harley Quinn issue eleven. So and anytime I find any of the original. Um, I guess it's volume one of the uh, Harley Quinn books. I usually pick them up if they're less than, you know, 10 bucks. I'll pick them up, uh, especially the earlier ones. I actually like these better than the, the newer series. <laughs> uh, you knew I wasn't going to get anything. Leave there without getting a, one of the bat books out of the way there. So this is issue 260. I should have a video coming up pretty soon here. Um, for my Batman, I guess like fourth quarter, <laughs> third quarter, whatever I'm going to call it. That'll be my final Batman, uh, haul video for the year. Then I probably won't have another one till April. So, and I got a few, few issues I haven't shown before. So it'll be, uh, won't be all rehash of everything. And hopefully if a couple eBay deals go through or auction wins, I'll have some more. So I'm crossing my fingers, but uh, yeah, this is um, one of those hundred page spectaculars, and a lot of these books are a real pain in the butt. They get like that, so I mean, it's pretty decent condition for what I uh, paid for it. So, but yeah, super happy to finally get this one out of the way. Uh, I think I'm done. I can't remember what I'm down to. I think I'm getting, I'm getting close to probably about 80 issues left that I need. So, getting there. And I ended up getting this one for, I forget, yeah, I paid like, this was part of the deal I got. All the books ended up being less than $2, so. But yeah, this is a, one of those uh, reprints, I guess, or special editions or whatever you want to call them, but it's a uh, Batman vs. the Hulk. And I've always wanted to read this story, so I, it was a no-brainer for me. I had to pick it up. I think I have, it's in the DC crossovers. I have, I think I have it here somewhere. But I don't think I've, I'm not sure if I, yeah, it's, I might have it here somewhere, but it's just one of the books that, no, I don't think I have it. Uh, I know I have this reprint of this, what the Superman Spider Man one. So, and the teen, I have the Teen Titans X Men one. I don't think I have the, the Batman and Hulk one. I wouldn't remember reading this. So, because I flipped through it and none of it looked like, uh, none of it looked familiar to me. But then again, uh, I think the last time I picked up that book was, uh, <laughs> uh, this is, uh, something that was really cool for me to finish, uh, being a huge fan of this character from uh, 
growing up in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, I uh, was the Punisher, and he was, yeah. I have the volume, I guess it would be volume two run complete. Uh, it was one of my favorite series growing up, and still is. I'm not a real big fan of the newer Punisher. I just don't. To me, he's an 80s character. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, it might uh, tick some people off, but I mean, I wish they would have just kept him a Vietnam vet and stuff like that. I don't, you know, they could have did them something for like Captain America style for him or something like that. I think it just like, it just constantly um, updating his origin for whatever reason, uh, or whatever uh, recent um, ongoings during the modern times here. It just, uh, it just really um, watered down the character to me. To me, he's always going to be uh, Frank Castle, you know, Vietnam vet. Uh, just from that eighties era, that eighties uh time, you know, it's just even though know, he's from the seven, <laughs> created in the seventies, but he just, I mean, anytime I think eighties, it's the Punisher, you know, comics wise. But I got that issue, and the gentleman in the next booth next to him, I I paid, uh, I think I paid a dollar for that. <laughs> I was like, oh cool, I now I only need issue one. So I was like, yeah, flipping through, and, and I know Punisher got a Netflix series out, and so I was like, I'm not even thinking about even trying to get that first issue. It's one of them deals, like, yeah, I'll just hold off, wait till the hype dies down, and I'll eventually get it, or stumble across it. And he said he had a nice, real nice issue here. I mean, this thing is sharp. <laughs> and I talked him down to, I think I, I think I offered him 25 for it. And, uh, because he had, it was a price tag on it, like, 35 or 38 or something like that. And I was like, ah, it's a little way too much more than I want to spend on anything right now. But I really wanted to finish this series, so there it is. Super happy to finally have this, uh, this run complete. I have the, uh, trade paperback. See, I wish I would have had, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, here it is right here. I was gonna say if I actually you know ran this uh <laughs> this channel uh organized it you know like but yeah this is my original copy there we go that I have I had when I was gosh I don't even know when this came out let me see I want to say ninety one. Yeah, it came, I guess it came out in like '88. It had to come out right, right around the beginning of his uh, when his um, ongoing series came out. So I've had that for almost you know, since easily going on close to 28 years, maybe you know. So and I actually traded this off a kid, <laughs> a good buddy of mine. Uh, he ended up buying it, and he ended up didn't want. Yeah, I think he ended up getting this whole series. Back in the day, when that, that thing was like <laughs> way out of my price range back then. So, yeah, it was, it's nice to finally, you know, come full circle. <laughs> and, you know, finally complete a set that uh, basically I've been chasing for years. And I could have easily went on eBay and stuff like that, but it just, you know, there's no story to tell, you know. <laughs> I feel like when I buy off eBay, sometimes it's just like soulless. <laughs> like, here's my money, give me my book, you know. No, I got a story behind that, you know, like, you know, I was talking to the guy and stuff like that, and talked him down, and, you know, no, it's a great story, and I, you know, I've had this for years, so super happy to finally complete it. Again, thanks for watching, I went a little bit longer than I usually go, but I'll talk to you next time, and be on the lookout for my Bat Batman, I guess, roundup for the year, <laughs> and uh, should have... Hopefully I'll get something off my list here. It's I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. <laughs> Losing daylight. So, all right. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you next time.